Hi viewers, welcome back to our innovation. In this channel, 8th Science, Unit 11 Air Book Evaluation. Let's go to the video. Unit 11 Textbook exercise from a letter 1 choose the best answer. Which of the following is true about oxygen that supports burning? Aerated water contains carbon dioxide. Solvay process is a method to manufacture sodium carbonate. Carbon dioxide with water changes blue lithmus to red. Which of the following is known as azote? That is nitrogen. Fill in the blanks. Oxygen is called as vital life. Nitrogen is lighter than air. Nitrogen is used as fertilizers. Dry ice is used as a refrigerant. The process of conversion of iron into hydrate form of oxides is called rusting. Match the following nitrogen, fertilizer, oxygen, respiration in living animals. Carbon dioxide, fire extinguisher, dry ice, refrigerator. Roma letter 4 briefly mention the physical properties of oxygen. Page number 115. Physical properties of oxygen they are oxygen is colorless, odorless, and tasteless gas. Okay, so this is one of the property. It is a poor conductor of heat and electricity. Oxygen dissolves readily in cold water. It is denser than air. It can be made into liquid at high pressure and low temperature. It supports combustion. Okay, These are the properties of oxygen. List out the uses of nitrogen. Page number 118. Uses of nitrogen. Here they had given. So, you points two or three points. Or if it is asked for more than 5 marks, you can write the whole points. Okay. So, this is the second brief. Write about the reaction of nitrogen with non-metals. Page number 117. Reaction with non-metals. Nitrogen reacts with non-metals like hydrogen, oxygen, etc. at high temperature. To form the corresponding nitrogen compound. Non-metal plus nitrogen that is equal to nitrogen compound. So, when the nitrogen reacts with non-metals, okay. Uh, like, uh, so non-metal hydrogen and oxygen uh, react, uh, it makes it at, at a high temperature, it forms the corresponding, okay. That is called as nitrogen compound. Example, see here 3 H2 hydrogen plus nitrogen to nitrogen that is N2, it changes into 2 H N3, okay, that is ammonia. So, when it reacts with hydrogen, it will changes as am ammonia, okay, it will changes as ammonia. What is global warming? The greenhouse gases are CO2, N2O, CH4, CFC that is chlorofluorocarbon etc. The increase in the level. So, if there is an increase in these level of gases results in gradual increase of temperature, temperature of the earth's surface. This greenhouse effect is caused due to increase in the air pollutants and it results in the average increase of temperature of the atmosphere. Greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide and chlorofluoro that is CFC. Okay, So, increase the temperature, the level of the gas get increased. Okay, Increase the temperature of the earth also get increased. So, the suit to sun may be hot. The temperature increases and the greenhouse affected. Okay, And the high temperature the greenhouse also get affected. Due to this, uh, how does it get affected by the increase of air pollution? So, air pollution just the temperature also gets increased and automatically the greenhouse also gets affected. Okay. 
it results in the average increase of temperature of the atmosphere so this is called as global warming okay in the point ninga eduthirudikonga this is fourth brief what is dry ice what are its uses solid carbon dioxide called as dry ice so what is called as dry ice solid carbon dioxide we call it as dry ice it is used as a refrigerant the gas is so cold that moisture in the air condenses on it creating a dense fog which is used in stage shows and movie effects okay so the gas that is so cold so and the gas ah than so this a gas that is carbon solid carbon dioxide dry ice na solla kudi and the gas ah than it will use or uh, create a stage shows lay movies lay create ah and the dense fog another that is a solid carbon dioxide okay so this point you had to write about dry ice answer in detail what happens when carbon dioxide is passed through lime water write the equation for this reaction page number 119 that is reaction with lime when a limited amount of co2 is passed through lime water it turns milky due to the formation of insoluble calcium and carbonate so so when the lime water is mixed with the carbon dioxide so adu eppadi change aagum it turns into milk okay that is called as calcium carbonate the equation is given here when the excess amount of carbon dioxide is passed through lime water it first turns milky and milkiness disappear due to the formation of soluble calcium hydroxide carbonate okay ingirundhu idu varaikum mark panikonga name the compounds produced when the following substance burn in oxygen when these compounds burns in oxygen what do we get when carbon burns we will get carbon dioxide nitrogen nitrogen oxide that is no sulfur dioxide prosperous trioxide prosperous pentoxide okay so these are the compounds we will get so other than that d and e we didn't see so magnesium when it burns with oxygen we will get magnesium oxide mgo and iron we will get iron oxide fe2o3 how does the carbon dioxide react with the following potassium lime water sodium hydroxide page number 119 so when potassium it reacts with carbon dioxide we will get 4k plus 3 co2 that gives 2k to co3 plus c so when carbon dioxide reacts with sodium hydroxide we will get this okay the equation is given write this also we will get sodium bicarbonate then when it reacts with calcium hydroxide that is lime we will get this okay so in the paragraph idu varaikku note panikonga so you have to write this also and idu vandu potassium ku ninga thaniya eduthu eludikonga what are the effects of acid rain how can we prevent them page number 120 mark it from here so rain water inga elidittu you have is actually purest form of water pollutants such as oxides of nitrogen and sulfur in the air released by the factories burning fossils fuels eruptions of volcanoes etc dissolve in rain water and form nitric acid and sulfuric acid which adds up the acidity of rain water hence uh, it's result in acid rain so when the water so rain water pure it will be pure okay so adle vand pollutants what are the pollutants the oxides of nitrogen sulfur idellame acid and the rain good add ahumbod so when it uh, mixes with the rain okay it from how does it released by the factories okay factories burning fossils volcanoes eruptions of volcanoes idilirund varakudi and the pollutants ellame water rain water kuda ungalku dissolve aayi it gets into it changes into nitric oxide okay and the acid and the normal rain vand nitric acid and sulfuric acid ah it change aagumbod it forms acidity of rain and due to that we give due to that we get acid rain the next heading you have to write about the effects of acid rain so acid rain affects us in many ways it irritates eye and skin of the human beings 
it inhabits germination and growth of seedling so it is very difficult of germination it changes the fertility of the soil and destroys plants and aquatic life it, it causes corrosion of many buildings and bridges etc so these are the points that's it we had completed air lesson unit 11 புக் வேலுவேஷன் ஃபுல்லாக நம்ம கம்ப்ளீட் பண்ணிட்டோம் இந்த வீடியோ உங்களுக்கு யூஸ்ஃபுல்லாக இருக்குன்னு நினைக்கிறேன் பிளேலிஸ்ட்டில் போய் அதர் லெசன்ஸ் எல்லாமே நீங்கள் வெரிஃபை பண்ணிக்கோங்க இந்த வீடியோ உங்களுக்கு யூஸ்ஃபுல்லாக இருந்தால் உங்கள் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸுக்கும் ஷேர் பண்ணுங்கள் தேங்க்ஸ் ஃபார் வாட்சிங் அ வீடியோ